If you haven't seen the shoe, look at this, you guys. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Isn't this crazy, man? A rock entry shoe, man. Freaking rock entry shoe. Drone 2.0. Jeez. Oh my goodness. I, I still cannot believe it. So I gathered the most common questions and we're going to get started. All right. Number one, most important, international shipping is now available. That's crazy, man. That's crazy because it means that you guys are psyched about this as much as I am. So this is awesome. You know, so international shipping is now available. Like I still cannot believe it. So if you haven't pre-ordered, pre-order. I know the deadline is soon. So it's September 30th is your last chance to pre-order the Rock Entry Drones 2.0. All right, question number two. This is about sizing. So how much should I downsize from street shoe size? Okay, so I go based off of your street shoe size. So for instance, I'm size eight and a half. If you want the shoe to be a little bit tighter, which I prefer, I downsize half, half a size. So if I'm size eight and a half, my Rock Entry Drones 2.0 are size eight. Now, a follow-up question, which I get asked a lot. Should I go for the HV or LV? Now, the HV stands for high volume. So this is for a wider uh, footprint. And LV is low volume for more of a narrow foot. So my foot is more narrow. So I go for the LV. Okay, so go off of your street shoe size. And if your feet are um, wider, go for the HV. If they're more narrow, go for the LV. That's like as simple as that, seriously. Let's see. Uh, someone said, I met you the other day. You hugged me. Why are you so nice? Hey, man, why are you so nice? You know? <laughs> you guys are awesome, seriously. Now, next question. Is your model any different from the base drone 2.0? Or is it just the colorway and styling? Now, when we decided to do this collaboration, first of all, I've been wearing the drones for over six years. And then they're coming out with a 2.0. The performance I was happy with. So why am I going to change something that I'm already in love with? So we focused strictly on the colorway and the branding on for the collaboration. And again, this shoot, you guys, is a way for you to support my work. So it's a perfect combination of Mad Rock, Rock Entry, and you guys who support my work. So yeah, and um, yeah, man, like I, I just love this shoe. Why, why would I make any major changes? Okay, next question. Favorite detail of your collab? Is it the orange text? My favorite detail, oh, man, like, it's it's a it's a combination of the black on black, like with the Mad Rock logo, with the rock entry stitching here, you know. So you'll you'll see it. So it's just to be honest, it's not one thing. It's how it all works together. There's details that you'll notice when you when you compare this shoe with the other shoe. Are they designed for the gym or the outdoors? I use these shoes for both indoors and outdoors. And to be honest, my goal was to find a pair of shoes where I don't have any complaints when I'm climbing outdoors or when I'm climbing indoors. So finding a pair of shoes that you can climb both indoors and outdoors, that's the best case scenario, seriously. Okay, next question. When do we get to see you climbing that crazy wall over the pool? <laughs> I'm still working on the editing. It's been so busy with the pre-orders, setting up for international shipping, and making content still on the works. It's going to be really cool, you guys. I'm, I'm, I promise you, the wait's going to be worth it. It's coming soon. Favorite part of designing your shoe? My favorite part, to be honest, on this collaboration is working with the Mad Rock team. It was freaking amazing because this shoe now it represents not only, you know, rock entry, but the team as well, because we all put a lot of work, you know, like it, it took a lot of work. It took, it definitely took a team effort. That was my favorite part working with Mad Rock pretty much. Next question, not a question, but just wanted to say, it's awesome to see how far you've come. Congrats. Thank you so much. You know, like 
I am where I'm at thanks to you guys for your love and support and watching my content. And I see you guys recommending my content. I, I see you guys putting that out there, you know, like helping my work grow and my channel grow and Rock Entry be where it's at. So I'm very grateful. Um, I would not be where I'm at without you guys and without your pre-orders, you know, supporting with whatever it is that I put out. It means a lot to me for sure. All right. What's next? Oh my goodness. You guys, this was exciting to create a product, do a collaboration and bring it out to the world and see how it does. You know, it's, it's exciting, but it's very scary because it is not easy. You know, you can't just make a product and expect for it to do good, regardless of how big your audience is, you know, it really takes a lot of effort and hard work, but once it's out and it's received well, it's, it's a great feeling. And again, it's scary. I'm just grateful for how good the shoe is doing and how, yeah, it, it's just, I'm excited to work on my next product. Like, so there's things, uh, on the works and I'll talk about it more in the future. Rock entry drones 2.0, man. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. September 30th, last day for pre-orders, September 30th. So be sure to grab yourself a pair. Now, one last thing, we're gonna be doing a launch party over at the Mad Rock headquarters. So if you're local and you wanna come out October 29th, make sure you RSVP, link in the description below, launch party, you guys, for my birthday, October 29th. It's gonna be awesome. So we have, you know, we're gonna be doing giveaways, all right? So that's gonna be great as well. Um, yeah, looking forward to see you guys, uh, out there too. Oh man. All right. As always, love you so much for your love and support and for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.